So this problem, we're going to find the volume of a cube if each side is three feet long. So this time, we're going to measure in terms of cubic feet. So think of little cubes, right? Little cubes where they're one foot wide, one foot long, one foot high. Are you with me? One cubic mm -hmm. feet, or, or it can be written this way, one F T cubed. Okay, that's how you'd write it with math uh, math notation. Make sense? Right. So, so the question is, if we have something like a Rubik's cube, and this is not one foot long, obviously, because one foot is actually twelve inches, which is the length of this whole ruler, right? So, this is definitely not three feet long, three feet wide, three feet high, but just imagine it was, and imagine each of these little cubes was a cubic foot. How many of the little cubes make up the whole Rubik's cube? And if anyone's watching from home, please press pause on the video and try to figure that out on your own. Press pause, try to figure it out. Okay, so I'll explain it now. It's the same as we looked at before with imagining these were you know, cubic inches. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on this layer. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on this layer. That's 18. And then nine in the middle layer, that's 27. So you've got 27 little cubes making up the, the big cube, right? And imagine these are all cubic feet, the little ones. And so what we have is a cube that is three feet wide, three feet long, and three feet high. And the uh, volume of a cube is length times width times height, or the volume of any rectangular prism, in fact. And so that's just three feet times three feet times three feet, and three times three times three, is 27 and feet times feet times feet is feet cubed or cubic feet, right? So 27 little cubes make up the big cube, basically, right?